Yes. That was a bitch. There's my paw. I hope that shit worked. That's two, actually more than two to two, but to form that mold, well, like all the practice I did, and to, to get to here, it's like two days of like 12, 10 to 12 hours per day of hard labor. And uh, I guess I put a little bit more than a quart, or unless it didn't go through the whole, all the cavities in the mold. Which I hope it did, because it did pour quite a bit, I believe, I don't know. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. But man, I hope that shit went in. And filled the cavities. Let's see if it was hot enough. Yeah, but still molten after I poured it. Let me see this one. It's starting to solidify. That's my uh, foundry. Jeez. My freaking nerves are going nuts because I know this ain't gonna be. Well, we don't know. But this might not be my last time casting the bed. I had a lot of slag. A lot of the uh, the fire clay kept falling in and the wood. That's the crappy part about using wood as fuel. I still got a lot of aluminum, but it doesn't fit through the cap. And that's pretty much it. I uh, hope this shit, I hope it came out right with no defects. But I actually made it really hot. It's a big ingot. I used like two buckets of wood pretty much. More than two buckets of wood maybe. I used some, uh, what is it, uh, planar shavings as a uh, fire starting and uh, I leveled off the box as much as I could I put weight on it did everything according to the book hopefully it works if not I'm gonna have to do it again but I'm gonna have to take a break before I do that I wanna see if this is molten right now or not. That's solidifying. It's still soft. <sighs> Someone wish me luck, man. This is too much damn work. <sighs> this is the inside of my crucible. I hope the sand was alright. We'll see. But yep, that's it. Here's me busting my ass. See what happens later. <laughs>